Are you ready? I'm so excited. Okay, everyone, let's gather around for a photo with the bride and groom. Great, just in and one, two. Oh, there you are. There's my baby boy. Look at you. You look so handsome. Ma, what are you doing? <laughs> Only the bride's supposed to wear white. Oh, Kevin, don't be silly. It's just a dress. No big deal, right, Kayla? It's okay. We're just happy that you're here. Come join us for a photo. Great. Everybody say cheese. Cheese. Okay, so everyone, can you give us a moment while we take a family photo? Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Did you not hear me? I said family photo. Ma, she is family. She's about to be my wife. Uh, yeah, oh, but... It's okay. Don't worry about it. You should get a picture with your mom. Come on, honey. Perfect. Got it. Come now, sweetheart. So, mommy, did you come alone? Oh, no, no, no. I brought my plus one. I invited Heather. Heather? My ex-girlfriend? Uh-huh. Oh, there you are. We were just talking about you. Right, honey? Hey, Kevin. It's good to see you. You look good. Kevin, what's going on? Uh, Heather, give us a moment. Sure. Ma, what are you doing? Why would you invite her to my wedding? Kevin, I know how close you two were. And I didn't want her to miss your special day. And besides, who knows how long this marriage is gonna last. It's always good to keep your options open. Kayla! Let her go, mijo. This marriage was a mistake from the very start. Mommy, that's enough. Why are you doing all this? You are, oh, people should know what it's like to be treated like this. What are you talking about? You told me yourself that your mother-in-law ruined your wedding day. You see? You said that your wedding started off as the happiest day of your life. Everything was perfect. That is, until Abuela got there. You said she showed up practically wearing the same dress you were wearing just to make you feel bad. She even made you feel like you weren't part of the family by excluding you from all the family photos. But what hurt you most of all was that she invited dad's ex to the wedding just to ruin your special day. So you see, mom, what you're doing to Kayla is exactly what Dad's mom did to you. Wow. I completely forgot about all of that. I do remember how much it hurt. And now, I feel so bad. I just did the same thing to Kayla. Well, now's your chance to make it right. Can I speak to you for a second? Sure. Listen. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I should never have treated you that way. You think maybe you can find it in your heart to forgive me? Yes. Of course. Thank you. 
Now let's go take that family photo. But first, let me go change. <laughs> Are we ready? Oh, uh, one second. Everyone say cheese. Actually, why don't we all say family? One, two, three. Family. Hey, honey, it's time. Everyone's ready for the bride. Okay, Mom. I'll be right there. Just one more minute. Dad. Hey, sweetie. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to lose you, Dad. <laughs> Please, don't cry. I'm getting married soon. And ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed of walking down the aisle with you holding my hand. And now, you're not even gonna be there. Even when I have gone, my heart will be with you. I promise. I love you so much, honey. I love you too, Dad. waiting for you. Oh my goodness. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm sorry. I can't go out there. Not without Dad. I miss him so much. I know you wanted him to be here. I miss him too. But he wouldn't want you to miss your own wedding. No, I just, I always thought he would be here, you know, walking down the aisle with me. Oh, honey, he is here. What do you mean? There's somebody I want you to meet. Mom, who is this? Hi, Sarah. You don't know me, but your father was a very special person in my life. You see, recently I was very sick in the hospital with very little time to live. My heart was failing and I needed a transplant, but I couldn't find a donor. I didn't think I was going to make it. But then a miracle happened. My doctor told me that they found me a heart. A heart that belonged to your father. Your father saved my life. Oh my God. So you see, Sarah, your dad kept his promise. His heart is here with you. <laughs> You're here. You kept your promise. <laughs> Thank you.
you so much for coming. This really means the world to me. Oh my god, this dress is so perfect. I love it so much. I think this is the one. Wow. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna look beautiful in it. Well, I see you have good taste. This one just came in from Italy. It's the most expensive dress in our store. I can see why. <laughs> Price doesn't matter, right, Dad? Well, uh, how much is it? It's $5,000. Just so you know, it's one of a kind, so I don't think it's gonna last very long. Five thousand dollars. We'll take it. Fantastic. I will meet you at the register. Honey, um, maybe we should look at some other stores first, huh? <laughs> maybe we can find something that's a little more affordable. Affordable? You think I'm gonna wear a cheap dress at my wedding? No way, Dad. <laughs> you are going to look absolutely stunning in this dress. I know. What's a wedding without the perfect dress, right? Okay, tax, that will be $5,863. Cash or credit? Um, credit. Hmm. Saying it didn't go through. Sometimes these things don't work. Let's try it again. Something wrong? I'm sorry. Saying that this credit card is being declined. No. Declined? <laughs> I don't understand. Dad, what's going on? Hey, would you would you mind giving us a second? Of course. Look, look, honey, I really didn't want to have to tell you this, but um, I got laid off from my job, so. Things are really tight right now. I just want to have to distress about it. So, what are you saying? You can't buy me the dress? I'm sorry. But maybe you and I can go out and find something more affordable. I'm sure that there are plenty of really wonderful dresses out there. What? No! I can't get married in some cheap dress! Honey, please understand that Getting married is not about fancy dresses or expensive weddings. It's about love. <laughs> just, just look at the dress that your mother got married in. <laughs> she made this dress herself, and it is still one of the happiest days of our lives. I miss her. What does mom's dress have to do with me? Look, Dad, you don't get it. If I don't get that dress, it's gonna ruin the whole wedding. Honey, please. Just forget it. The only thing I asked of you was to get me that dress, and you can't even do that. So much for my dream wedding. Thanks for nothing. <sighs> I can't believe he can't get me that dress. It's even the point of getting married. Can you believe it, Dad? I'm about to be married. I know. And I'm so happy for you. I've been imagining this day ever since you were a little girl. I just wish... Dad, what's wrong? It's nothing. I don't want to ruin your special day. No, Dad, please tell me. What's wrong? It's just that I feel so bad that I couldn't afford to buy you a fancy wedding dress. So now you're stuck having to wear your mom's. Dad, are you kidding me? Being married isn't about fancy dresses or expensive weddings. It's about love. 
Besides, the price of this dress isn't what makes it special. What makes it so special is that it was mom's. Oh, sweetheart. I wish your mom was still here so that she could see you in it. She would be so proud of you. You look so beautiful. Thanks, Dad. Now, come on. It's time for you to walk me down the aisle. Maybe you have some sort of layaway program? Or, or, or here, why don't you just try running it for half the amount first? See if that works. I'm sorry, sir. We don't offer that. Hey, Dad. Kelsey, hey, you're back. Hey, look, don't worry. I'm going to figure out some way to get you this dress. Don't worry about it. I don't need it. Need it? I don't, I don't understand. Look, I want to apologize for how I acted earlier. You were right. Marriage is not about fancy dresses or expensive weddings. It's about love. Do you think you can forgive me? Honey, of course I can. Thanks, Dad. But, uh, if you're not gonna get this dress, what are you gonna do? I've actually got the perfect idea. Honey, we're gonna be late. Kelsey, you look beautiful. Is that? Yeah. It's mom's dress. I found it in your closet. What do you think? See you in a little bit, okay? I love you. Aw, Alan is the sweetest guy. You're so lucky to have found your soulmate. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Come on, Sarah. We've been best friends for 10 years. I know when something's wrong. I don't know if marrying Alan is the right decision. I can't stop thinking about Jeff. Jeff? Your ex-boyfriend who cheated on you and made you cry all the time? You're thinking about him when you have Alan who treats you like a queen? I know. I can't get him off of my mind. What if he's changed? Guys like him don't change. And besides, you can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. You have to move on. Sarah! Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was gonna make it in time. Jeff, what are you doing here? You need to leave. You're not welcome here. Look, I know this isn't a great time, but I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't tell you. I can't stop thinking about you, Sarah. Please, don't get married. Let's try this again. Are you serious? Don't listen to him, Sarah. You know how he is. 
He's just going to go back to all his old ways. Look, I know I've made mistakes in the past, but I'm not that guy anymore. I promise. I've changed. Do you mean it? Yes. I love you so much. Sarah, please don't fall for it. Guys like him don't change. I love you too, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. Let's get out of here. Let's start a new life together. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. I'm sorry, Jessica. I have to go. Please tell Alan. I'm sorry. Sarah leaves while her bridesmaid stands there in disbelief, knowing how big of a mistake she's making. Sarah starts to enjoy her new life with Jeff, who begins to treat her so well. She couldn't be any happier, feeling that she's found her soulmate. That is until Jeff starts to go back to his old ways. In no time, he starts lying to Sarah and cheating on her just like he used to. Sarah's devastated and breaks up with him in tears. She's now heartbroken and finds herself all alone. She starts to really miss Alan and wishes she hadn't gone back to her ex. And then one day, she happens to run into Alan. Alan? Sarah? <laughs> I haven't seen you since you left our wedding. I know. I really regret doing that. I just want to tell you that I'm, I'm sorry for everything. I shouldn't have went back to my ex. No, it... It's okay. I forgave you a long time ago. Well, look, if it's okay with you, maybe we can start over. I'm sorry, Sarah, but if I've learned anything, it's that you can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. Hey, babe. We're gonna be late for the reception. Let's go. You're so beautiful. <sighs> and I love you so much. I love you too. I'm the luckiest girl in the world to have found my soulmate. <sighs> this again? How many times do I have to tell you to pick up your dirty clothes? Is that too much to ask? Can I please just have a few minutes to relax? I literally just got home. I'll pick them up later. You always do this, ever since we moved in together. You know, if you want to leave your dirty clothes lying around, maybe you should just go back to living by yourself. Baby, why are you- Don't baby me. I can't deal with this right now. I'm gonna go to my mom's place. Maybe this was a mistake. Hey, honey. How's my baby girl? I'm okay, Mom. I can tell when something's wrong. What's the matter, sweetheart? It's Robert. I don't know what to do anymore. He just always leaves his dirty clothes lying around, and it's so frustrating. I understand. And I know that this may be really hard to believe right now. One day, you're going to miss that dirty laundry. <laughs> Ew, why would I miss it? When your daddy was still here, I used to always argue with him. The same way. 
I would come home to his dirty clothes from work all over the couch. It would make me so mad that he couldn't put them away. I would go into the bathroom and find the toilet seat up. I mean, how hard is it to put it down? I would look at the dishes in the sink and I'd get so upset. I mean, why not just rinse them off? Until finally, I reached my breaking point and I had to let it all out. I thought I couldn't take this anymore. And then, your father passed away so suddenly. The day I came back from his funeral, I looked around and there weren't any dishes in the sink. And the toilet seat wasn't up. And there were no dirty clothes on the couch. I'd never thought that I'd miss all of that. But I realize that now, it feels empty without him. So my child, don't waste the limited time that you have together arguing over some dirty laundry. Because one day you're going to miss it. Thanks, Mom. I really needed to hear that. I have something I need to do. That's my girl. Hey. Yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't. No. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have reacted that way. It's really not that big of a deal. And who knows? I might even end up missing your dirty laundry someday. So I don't have to pick them up then? Nope. I might just end up throwing them at you instead. <laughs> <laughs> My dream has always been to become an actor. I don't want to embarrass you at your very first audition. <sighs> Maybe I'm too old. You're never too old to follow your dreams. <laughs> if I wanted an old lady, I would have gone to a nursing home. Bye-bye. <laughs>